Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to this edition of Programming Users. Now for today we are going to look at something uh, quite important. We are going to see how to add, update, uh, uh, how to add, update uh, and delete data. Okay, delete or remove data, uh, it depends on what you like, uh, from a list box. Okay, and in fact we are going to be adding from a text box, from a text field I mean. We are also going to be updating from a text field, uh, that means that we shall be setting the selected items uh, to our text field. Now for instance, let's say that you want to add, like I can come here and type something like this one. Then if I click add, you can see uh, the data uh, gets added, you can add as many as I like. Okay. Now what about if I want to remove, for instance, or update, uh, if I want to update for instance, I can come here and say something like this one. Then I click update, you can see uh, the data uh, gets updated uh, very well. You click update, it gets updated. If I want to remove, for instance, I select this one, I uh, click delete, uh, it gets uh, deleted. Okay, so you can uh, remove all of them. If I just want to remove all of them at once, I just click clear, it clears. This, this is what we're going to see. Uh, welcome, uh, we'll get started. Now as usual, please design your form. Right here you can see I have my form. This is a header label, a text field, of course a label. I have four buttons, add, update, uh, clear and delete. I have my list, J list right here. No, uh, for my J list, uh, okay, it's just called a J list one. Okay, but if you want, it's empty, it's totally empty. If you want uh, yours to be totally empty, just come to the model and then uh, clear it from there. Okay. I shall be adding data from scratch. This does it. First, uh, click your add, update, clear, and delete uh, so that we come and handle the events. Now, uh, when the add is clicked, I uh, shall want to call a method that we shall call add. Uh, okay. Now, for this add method, uh, we're just going to uh, define it in a short while. So, right here, we shall just come and get uh, the selected item. So get, say so get text, and that's it. Then of course uh, we need to come and uh, define that method. So say add to list. What we're going to do, uh, say private avoid add. Uh, inside here we shall pass one parameter, the name. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to do uh, before we continue, we're going to define our model. So please come right here, say default list model uh, dm equal to new default list model. We shall be using uh, that uh, default list model uh, object to create our, to add the elements to our J list. So first, uh, in fact, we shall bind it first. Let's just come uh, J list one. Then we bind it, say set model. Then we pass our dm uh, right there. After that one, uh, we can now come and say dm dot add element. We call uh, the add element of the uh, default list model, and we simply pass uh, the name that shall be passed right here. Take note that this name it's here. It's what we shall get here at name txt. Now the next thing uh, that we're going to do, we're going to clear our text fields. To do that one, come and say a name txt uh, dot set text and then I uh, will set it to totally blank that's it uh, that's how we add items uh, to our j list uh, the next event probably is the clear now clearing is very simple we're just going to say dm which is our default list model uh, dot clear this one shall clear for us uh, our default list model and uh, then we set uh, the list uh, our default list model uh, object we set it as the model of our j list so we come there we set it right there now that's how we clear the next one uh, shall bring us to update now to update first it shall require us to do one thing come to your j list event section and then let's come to the most clicked okay just come to the most clicked now when the mouse is clicked, the first thing that we shall want to do, we shall want to set uh, selected items uh, to our text box, okay, to our name text box. So say uh, string selected uh, equal 
then write the here yeah we can shall come and say jail list one actually jail list a uh, jail list one dot get selected value this one will make sure that it will convert it to string and thus uh shall give us uh, the selected item now of course we just set it uh, to our uh, uh, name txt so come and say name txt set it right there selected uh, that's once we've set it right there now we shall be able to update and to update is also simple the first thing that we're going to do uh, if we want to update we're going to need uh, to get the index because remember we have to identify the particular row that we want to update so uh, let's come create an integer say int index uh, equal to getting the index is also simple we're just going to use our jlist one dot get a selected index this one shall give us our index which we shall use to identify the row to update now once we've gotten that index i uh, shall now come once more to our uh, dm default this model then we just come and say uh, set element at okay then we pass uh, right there uh, of course uh, here is our index then here we pass the value our new value so name txt dot get text that shall ensure that uh, we update our stuff and of course after that one maybe uh, we may just uh, let me just minimize this ugly code right here so uh, i just want uh, once more to clear uh, my text field after updating it after you set it now we just come and clear the textbooks now uh, to delete uh, delete uh, shall also be very simple the first one of course we shall also need to get the index so we shall copy paste this one and bring it right here say int index equal to jlist one that get selected index once we have our index uh, for once we have our index it's very easy we shall just call uh, the remove element at of the default list model now come and say dm uh, dot uh, remove element at then right here we shall just pass our index uh, that shall ensure that we delete and then of course after deleting we shall also want to clear uh, the textbooks just to give the user a better visual feedback that is just deleted uh, all these rows this does it i don't see anything remaining we've seen how to up add update uh, delete uh, and set selected items to text field now let's just uh, run press shift f6 to run our program so that we have a look and right here we have our beautiful j list now i can just come here type my data uh, very fast okay now if uh, that is how we add of course you can see that the data gets added what about if you want to update i will come here and say something uh, like this one then when we click update you can see uh, the data i uh, get uh, updated very well if i click this one update uh, you can see my data is getting updated now what about if i want to uh, delete i just come clear uh, delete it deletes it okay and you can see it's deleting it very well if i want to remove everything i click clear and the thing gets cleared guys hope you've enjoyed the tutorial or hope you've learned something please if you have would like to hear from you guys uh just leave a comment down below hit that like button and share this video with friends and family and please take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial